Welcome back. This is Nick Eger once again. I will be discussing the graph of the cosine function. And um, as you can see in the figure or in the graph, you can see the unit circle there and also the Cartesian graph of the, the cosine function. As you can see here in the unit circle, when our x is 0 or the angle is 0, then our then our x coordinate is or the y coordinate is 1 the value of cosine 0 is 1 so we have the highest or the maximum point directly there and if we go to pi over 2 then we have the value of uh, cosine x here is 0 there we go here we are and then if we go back uh, go further to pi we know that the, the cosine pi again is the same as in cosine 0 but it is on the negative so we have the minimum value here so it's almost similar to cosine uh, to sine a function the only difference is that we have we start with one and then we go to zero and then we have negative one in the sign we start with zero and then one and then zero again and then negative one here is one zero neg one zero negative one and then zero and then positive one and as you can see here they have the same period that is two pi okay to sum it up, the general cosine function, the general cosine function as we did with sine is the same. A is not equal to 0 and B should be equal to uh, greater than 0. Uh, I prepared some, some GeoGebra again. I removed some of them. This is the cosine um, graph. And uh, if I'm going to have the amplitude now, it affects the amplitude for the A, as you can see here. Then it's the same period, but the, the amplitude will will change. Okay, that's the why we have A there. Okay, if I'm going to remove that. And then for the B, uh, maybe you've seen here, we have B there. The, the function of the B there, or the effect of the B there is this one the period it will affect the period and it's the same as in sine we have b uh, 2 pi divided by b is the period okay the higher the b the tighter the period okay next we remove that what do the c means here it's the same as in sine so if you missed my uh, sign, because I'm not going too deep here now. To the left, I uh, to the right. Sorry, if it's positive, to the left, it's if it's negative. Okay, and then for the d, the d is up and down. It's only the vertical. It's the same as in sine. Okay, if you if we have all of them, as you can see, if I will change, which of them, then you can see the effect. Okay, now let's take a look or uh, some examples. Okay, on the same set of axes, graph y is equal to cosine x, as you can see here, I did it already, and y is equal to cosine minus pi minus 3. That means from negative 2 pi, it should be from negative 2 pi to, I, I can do that. Wait a minute. Here we go. Um, as I've said, we have cosine, parenthesis, x minus pi divided by 3. And this is our C. What C does is that it transforms 
the whole thing, the whole function to the left or to the right. Because C now is positive, it should be to the right by pi divided by 3. So if we have pi, pi 4 here, and we have here pi divided by 3, it should be here, like that. And it should be here. It should be here. And it should be here. It should be there. So it, it, it should look like this. like that. And, oh, from negative to, so it should be there, it should be there, it should be there, and it should be there. There you go. It should look like that. It's not accurate, but it should look like that. Okay, without using technology, sketch a graph of y is equal to 3, uh, cosine 2x. What does it says to us is that we have our amplitude now is 3, not 1 anymore. So we have there. And our period will be 2 pi divided by 2. Our b here is 2. So we have pi. That means um, we have two cycles or two revolutions when we go to 2 pi. So one revolution is here. Okay, that means we have 3 here. So from 0. That means our lowest point now is on pi over 2. That is negative 3. So here is the zero, and here is the zero also. So it should look like this. It's it's a little bit tight. I will do something. Now it looks like uh, it looks better because I stretch it a little bit. It should be there as like what I said, and it should be here also. So when it is uh, pi over two, then I have the lowest point here. So when it is pi over 4, and what will be 3 pi over 4, then it should be 0 there. And it should be to, until, until 2 pi. So we have, once again, here is the lowest, uh, highest, here is the lowest. Here is zero, here is zero. Okay. Like what I said, it's not accurate, but it should look like that. Okay, another example. State the amplitude where appropriate amplitude. We have now the cosine, so we have y is equal to. We have our amplitude is, uh, not. it should be a. Our amplitude is equal to the absolute value of negative 1, which is 1. Next example. Our cosine here, state the period. The period is, we have period is equal to 2 pi divided by, we have actually 1 third there, because pi divided by 3 is 1 times 1 third divided by pi by x. Sorry, not that is not pi. x is that. This is x times x. So we have 1 third there. That means we have a 2 pi multiplied by 3. And then we have 6 
pi. So you need to stretch the the graph. Okay, let's see if we can find some some more example. We have the cosine, the b here, uh, has paired to pi divided by three. So we have two pi divided by three is equal to two pi divided by b. So we have b is equal to we have, uh, if we multiply both sides of the equation by b and uh, 3 divided by 2 pi and b is equal to we have 2 pi times 3 divided by 2 pi this is 1 so we have b is equal to 3 last one might be yes state the maximum minimum values for appropriate we have d here we have b okay we start with b we have our a is equal to 3 so we have now our maximum value is equal to 3 and our minimum value is equal to we have negative 3 and for d now we have we have our a is 1 but we start with 3 so we have our maximum value is equal to 3 plus 1 because that's maximum we have 4 for our minimum value value we have we still have 3 we start with 3 but this time we have negative 3 here a negative 1 so we have 2 if you want I can sketch that we have 1 2 3 here so that our amplitude is still 1 so am I my point is here maximum and my lowest point is here that's two okay thank you for watching once again i hope you learned something um in my next video may you guess it you already guessed about it the tangent function and a little bit different, different from cosine and uh, sine. And uh, we hope to, I hope to see you there. And thank you for watching and have a nice day.